you're going to add a countdown timer to your home page. So find the link in Google Classroom. It says time and date. So follow the link. And there's a bunch of information on here. We're just going to start with up here at the top location. It automatically assumes we're in Fresno, but I would just verify that it's specific standard time. So I'm searching for PSG and select. All right, so I'm making a countdown timer to the last day of school, to the when summer break actually starts. It starts on June 3rd at 2.30. So the catch is because it's in um, gotta go military time, so 14 for 2 p.m. and 2.30. Seconds, I'll leave it at zero. I like this one liner here, so I'm gonna click on that blue one. It's not really changing anything, but this is a preview of what it looks like right now. And because it's a countdown timer to summer, I'm gonna change this to beach just so I can, to me it looks a little more fun. I can change background colors, I can change things here. The only thing you really need to worry about is customization for when time is not yet passed. So what do you want it to say? Right now it says time left to event in. Change that to summer break begins. Now if you have a birthday coming up, use your birthday. If you're graduating, put your graduation. Your graduation time will be 8 p.m., but that's another story. Again. Um, once the time has passed, you can change it to summer break began, and then it tells you how time it began. All the way down here towards the bottom, this little button here that says show HTML for countdown timer. Click it, and I need you to click on all that unique stuff that's coding and control C to copy. Control C to copy that. Now go to your web page. I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom just for right now. Click in that blank area, and I'm going to hit insert embed. Insert embed. I'm putting some embed code in, so I'm clicking on embed code, and I'm going to paste this. Next. That's what it should look like. Insert. Now I can make this a little smaller, and perhaps even center it. I can't center center it, but that's okay. Next, I'm going to grab this section block and drag it to the top. Dragging it to the top, so it looks like that. Hit the blue publish button and publish, and you're done.